Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mora here and in today's video we are gonna look at Sis. Let's just see how much that Sis get nerfed because obviously this character was the public enemy number one, easily the best character in the game this past season. So let's check it out. First of all, Sis got the Akuma treatment. Now he have 900 HP and 900 stun which is fine i think i honestly think this character have as much tools as akuma he pretty much have every tool in the game so i think this is fine i don't think there is any issues with that the first changes come in the form of his throws first of all they reduced his grab range so i think this is fine he still have really good grab range as you can see he can still tick from his uh, crouching jab and he can still take from standing light kick but his text throws in general are a little bit weaker it's gonna be a little bit easier to walk out of his throw range which is nice i honestly think this is a good change and it was much needed the other change he got is he used to be plus or minus one after a dash right after a dash he used to be minus one now this is minus four there is added recovery frames to the grab again i think this just brings him in line with the rest of the cost don't think you know i think this, it was kind of stupid that he was minus one to begin with so i think this is very fair i honestly think this is very fair this also got the projectile proof hurt boxing on the upper body for the crouching medium bunch so this is fine Again, this is kind of a universal change. Most characters have their crouching medium botches buffed that way. So this is a universal change. It's not a big deal. What is, I think, is a big deal is his forward medium bunch. This attack have a target combo attached to it. You do forward medium bunch into heavy kick into heavy bunch, right? And what Capcom did is that they made this target window. The window to, to go from the forward medium to the heavy kick basically your input window for the heavy kick is longer you have now three more frames to hit confirm this which is fine you know it is a skillful attack now it is kind of yeah i think it is hit confirmable at this point as you can see it's i do think it is pretty hit confirmable so this is a really good buff for this because this is was one of the most used attacks after throwing your opponent right now it's really easy to hit confirm which is a buff of course you know they don't want to make kill the character so of course they throw they throw some buffs in here but they also made it more negative on block this used to be minus five the second part now it is minus eight and the final part you know is still minus 12 so even if you stop the at part number two it is still really unsafe at minus eight this is still really really unsafe so that kind of sucks but you know it is easier to hit confirm I, I think it's pretty hit confirmable in all honesty the other change is for his forward heavy bunch this now triggers proximity block and proximity block is the distance where your character will be forced to go into block animation notice how minette is trying to defend herself even if the attack is not connecting so this seems like it will keep you in your place from really far distance. I don't understand why they did that change. Seems actually that it is harder to wave punish. So this actually seems like a buff to me. But I don't know. We're gonna have to wait and see how this one plays out. Now here we go. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. The Annihilate Sword. Or if you are more aware of the online jingo, it is the axe kick, the damned axe kick, right? Now this have two more frame of landing recovery. At least the light version have two more frame of landing recovery. This pretty much means that now if you are standing, this used to be minus two. Now against standing opponent, it is minus four which is a big deal. Now Sis actually gets punished. So for example, if Minette here is doing her three frame, Sis is getting punished. So actually on standing opponents, this is punishable, which is a really big deal. Like this is important. And on a crouching opponent, he's gonna be neutral. He's not gonna be plus anymore. So if your opponent here is crouching, 
it's gonna be neutral on block this is still really good mind you like i, I think this is actually still really really good why is this missing so this is still really really good change but it is i don't think it kills the move right because on hit this still gets combos on his crouching components he's just not as plus as he used to be so for example this used to get mediums here but now he's only plus four so he's gonna get the light kick right so you're gonna get light kick conversion you can do something like that now uh which is still good, but he will not get the full bread and butter, crouching medium bunch to standing medium bunch kind of damage. Except, of course, on counter hit. So, if you happen to land this as a counter hit, he should still get the whole thing. As long as I don't fuck it up, he still should get that, which is nice. So, I think this, I think these changes are fair. Now, he can't bully with this as much, because worst case scenario happened to crouch blocking it he is still safe right but of course if you happen to stand block it you can get the punish he still gets the combos on the crouching opponents so i think all around i think it is a fair change the other thing is that the medium one they said that um they said that there was a box that appeared before it happened so i'm not sure what this is actually referring to but you know this is a I, I honestly don't understand what is the advanced fix. Seems like a bug fix, in all honesty. But in general, the X kicks, the all of them have reduced hitbox on the downward direction, so it's harder for him to hit the opponent with them. And they also have landing recovery. Notice that now, if I'm holding up, I there is a sizable landing recovery here, so maybe you you it, you can get punished. Right, or you can whiff punish it easier. You have four more frames to whiff punish this. The final change they did is for the EX version. Now the second hit have longer or they increase the downward headbox. This I think for just for combos extensions pretty much. No one uses the EX dive kick for much. They also buffed his V skill one headbutt. You know how Sis when Sis does his V skill one, he gets your special move, right? So now when he gets Honda's headbutt, it is better, it's super specific, I don't think it's gonna matter that much. Now let's talk about the changes that matters. The one that is getting changed is that his V trigger 1, they reduce the timer, and they reduced it by quite a bit. If you notice, the timer is ticking down a lot faster. Now the cost for his special moves didn't out did get reduced as well so he still gets four specials pretty much right so this is still getting four specials for the most part it is just that the timer by itself is shorter right so he doesn't have as much time to keep walking moving back and forth back and forth back and forth hit you once and kill you he have a little bit less time to do that but it's still really really good of course now the final meaningful change he also changed it is there was a bug fix to his v trigger 2 now it doesn't disappear but i don't know i, I mean there apparently was some bugs with v trigger 2 where it will disappear but that doesn't happen anymore so seem like a bug fix not a really big deal the final thing and this one is kind of big also is that his super is a lot less invincible they reduce the invincibility by 5 frames, so it should be easier to escape from it. And they also made it 5 frames less active. This means, for example, that if you're... Oppo you know how Sis most likely was... You know you know how Sis was able to chip most of the cost with his super? Now, this is not gonna be the case anymore, because the super is not as invincible as it used to be. Overall, did Sis get nerfed? Yes, he absolutely did. In my opinion, easily still top 3. I honestly think this is still top 3. Still gonna be a very strong character. The axe kick got nerfed, yes. But I don't think it is super big deal. Because most of the time, it is still gonna be hard to block it. And there is you have to consider pushback as well. And he still gets the combos. It's just not as abusable as it used to be, right? And they didn't change his standing heavy kick at all. They didn't change the V skills at all. They didn't really change the V trigger. Like reducing the timer. 
it's not really that big of a deal yes the throw got a little bit worse but the target combo is now easier to even hit confirm and this is a fantastic wave punish honestly if this is a, if the v shift forces more neutral i think this benefits this more than it hurts him so i guess we'll see honestly in my opinion this character is still completely fine and will still be one of the strongest characters in the game if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like or a comment it helps the channel so much consider checking out the discord i will leave the link in the description also if you like it please check out the patreon page if you have liked this content and would like to support me thank you very much for watching and stay safe